Once you go into the real world, what do you do about the food piece? You go back into this environment where your body is a result of what you eat and what you do for exercise. And then they think that if you're healthy, you know, if mentally healthy, you've sorted out all your emotional crap, well then you'll make good food choices and you'll make good exercise choices. And somehow by being healthy and by being good, you'll get a, the body that you want. Uh, but. That, that's crazy making and what that does is it keeps you stuck in what I call the diet and exercise mindset or the diet and exercise model. And that is the, that's the mindset, that's the piece that regardless of how much you weigh and regardless of whether you've had an eating disorder or not, um, and regardless of your ups and downs throughout your weight throughout your life, it will keep you in a constant state of pain and shame around your body because it keeps you in this catch 22. And so what, what I've, what it's taken me, you know, almost 50 years to be able to, to understand and nine years of running my business to be able to articulate to other people is that yes, of course, you're absolutely responsible for what you eat. And yes, of course, you were absolutely responsible for whether or not you engage in some sort of physical activity every day. But the fact that you are responsible for what you eat and what you do for exercise does not mean that therefore you can control your body's weight and shape through diet and exercise. And that's the fallacy that we all get stuck in and that's the thing that keeps us in shame because we think that there's something wrong with us. We think we're bad because we're just not exercising enough or we're just not making the right food choices or we're just too busy or we're just, whatever it is, we're failing somehow. And so we're bad. It's our deepest shame because we think that we just don't have what it takes or we're just not smart enough or we're just not disciplined or we just don't care enough or whatever to do whatever this thing is to get this result that we want.